Well, up until now, we've been showing you the kind of destruction the Russian artillery brought with them and what it has caused to the towns of Irpin, Bucha and Burudanka. We're standing now very close to the highway where the Russians set up their artillery base. Heavy artillery of the Russians was set up here and I can show you all around the place that I'm standing in. Spent casings off the shells spread out all over. Now, these boxes brought in with them armory brought in with them weapons brought in brought in with them these shells of course that you're looking at and apart from that a little bit of food and other essentials for the soldiers and you can see a little bit of mud that's been excavated here to give them and their artillery a position to fire from and this is where the firing happened now all of their weapons of course have capabilities to aim specific targets at quite a distance away and fire and it's not just one of these places that has been created here this area spread out over a couple of acres has multiple such points where their artillery was set up and fired from here onto the cities that are nearby and you can see all over hundreds of empty shells of course spread out and the sheds that, are, that of course you see at a very close distance from where we are standing in was also a place where there were multiple uh, you know uh, uh, soldiers who were staying overnight cooking and ensuring that they protected themselves from the cold uh, there is of course multiple bunkers as well in and around these excavated areas those bunkers once again you know served as a place where they could store their their weapons you know there could be some of the soldiers who, who have to be on the lookout consistently 24 bar 7 they are stationed there but this area of course gives you a clear example of the kind of heavy artillery that the russians brought with them and the impact, of course, we've seen in the cities that we've visited over the last few days. What you're now looking at is a Russian bunker right in between the entire artillery setup that they had done. You can see some chairs that the soldiers used to sit down. You can see a blanket that, of course, covers the opening to prevent the wind from gushing in. A little bit of food inside. And, of course, this entire place, again, surrounded by those boxes which contain the explosives and the artillery that they brought in. So, multiple such bunkers, of course, present in this entire area, uh, which, of course, is spread out, quite spread out and very close to the highway. This gave them a very strategic position because it kept them away from, you know, the Ukrainian eyes. It gave them, you know, cover and also a huge area of land that, of course, you see, which gave them enough space to bring in their heavy artillery. And once again, you see these boxes spread out. Just an indication to, to show you the kind of artillery that they brought in and the kind of impact that this artillery has had from such a long distance into the cities of Irpin, Bucha and Borodinka.